Hello, my name is Greg Endress. I work with the NDSU Extension Service as a cropping system specialist located at the Carrington Research Extension Center. Today I'd like to talk about uh, work that we've been doing over the last decade on pinto bean, navy, and black beans. And uh, what we're investigating is the interaction of plant populations and row spacings. So NDSU has for many years recommended that pinto beans be established at 70,000 plants per acre. With black and navy beans, the recommendation is establish 90,000 plants per acre, and that was with wide rows. However, in a survey that we conduct with growers each year, it's indicating with black and navy beans that the majority are planting with narrower rows. And with pinto bean, there is at least a trend there for more and more of the acres being planted with rows less than 30 inches. And so with that in mind, we've been conducting work to try to answer the question, can we reduce the row spacing with our various market types of pinto beans and increase plant populations to achieve a, a higher economic yield? Starting in, 2008, starting in 2014, we began a study looking at black and navy bean uh, interactions with those two factors. With row spacing, we used 14, 21, and 28 inches. And for plant populations, we targeted 90, 110, and 130,000 plants per acre. Uh, the study is done. It has been published in an extension circular. And I'll give you the summary. Uh, with uh, navy beans, we found that the narrowest rows, the 14 inch, with uh, plant population greater than 115,000 plants per acre, provided the highest economic yield. With the black beans, they did not respond to row spacing, and the response to plant populations was very minimal, and we needed to have the highest plant population to see a, a modest yield increase. Next, I'll talk about pinto beans. Uh, with pinto beans, we have been doing work with both plant populations and row spacings over the last decade. Uh, starting with uh, row spacings, NDSU has conducted two multi-year studies looking at various, um, various row spacings. And we found that the intermediate row spacing provided yield advantage. Uh, the intermediate rows of 18 to 22 inches were uh, greater in yield compared to the, the typical 30 inch rows. We also have done work with pinto bean plant populations. And we've looked at uh, populations um, surrounding the 70,000 plants per acre. And what we found is that there's a clear advantage with the 70,000 plants per acre versus a, a lower amount, somewhere in the 50,000s with the, the population. And then what's, what we're really after is looking at the interaction of the two. And we're trying to find that sweet spot, if you will, what's the best population, especially with narrow rows. And so at Carrington in 2018, we began a study to look at those two factors. Uh, our, plant, our plant populations range from a targeted amount of 90, 110, and 130,000 plants per acre. And then we had two row spacings, they were 21 and 28 inch. And what we found was the 21 inch row spacing along with a plant population greater than 115,000 plants per acre provided the highest uh, returns. Uh, the, the work is still continuing in, in 2020 and um, we'll have more confidence in the data at that time. But to summarize what I said today, um, with seed yield increase with rows and populations, we're re recommending to reduce row spacings with navies in the area of 12 to 15 inches. In our studies, we use 14 inch. Uh, and with pinto beans, we'd recommend uh, planting the pintos in 18 to 22 inch rows versus the, the wide or 30 inch rows. If a person chooses to go with reduced row spacings, then the following plant populations would be recommended. With navy and possibly black, we'd like to see row space uh, plant populations greater than 115,000 plants per acre. And with pintos, we'd like to see at least 70,000 plants per acre. And based on our preliminary data so far, upping that may be a, um, a good strategy to increase yield.